Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, our little reminder of winter, at least in terms of snowfall, is pretty much all but come to an end across the area tonight. There still may be a few straggling flakes around here or there, but for the most part, we are done with the snow. Now it's just to see what type of impacts we could have tomorrow morning. Fortunately for us, the bulk of the snow fell. For one, it's March. So this time of the year, unless it's snowing incredibly hard, it's really hard to get the snow to stick on the roadways. Yeah, you'll get it to accumulate on the grass, the rooftops, the decks, etc. But in terms of the roads, usually it's going to melt away. The this time of the year because even though you got cloudy skies, you're still able to get just enough sunlight through enough ambient sunlight through to help those things melt away. However, in the morning with temperatures falling back into the mid 20s, many of the roadways are still wet. I would be especially cautious of the bridges tomorrow morning. I think for the most part, your major thoroughfares will be fine. But if you come upon a bridge again, I always say you get that little reminder bridge bridges ice over before the major roads through or the rest of the roads. Just kind of keep that in mind as you start your morning commute on on Tuesday. Here's a live look on radar. The snow is all but over again for the rest of the area. Just a few flurries right now. Maybe a batch of flurries down there along the river between Sailor Park, Dale High and the airport. Also up towards Ross over towards New Haven. Otherwise, these steady snows have all but shut off with the exception of extreme southeastern parts of Highland County and down into Adams County. Peebles over towards West Union. We've still got a little bit of snow flying out there east of city, east of Cincinnati, but that too is going to wrap up here very, very quickly. So again, other than a passing flurry or two overnight tonight, the accumulating snows are done. It's 31 right now at the airport. We've got a north wind beginning to pick up and look at that wind chill. Feels like it's in the low 20s during the day tomorrow. It will probably feel like it's between about 15 and 20 the bulk of the afternoon. Look at temperatures. They are beginning to drop as long as we're hovering around the freezing mark. Usually we're in pretty good shape, but when you start falling back through the mid 20s and you've still got water on any of the roadways, you can run into problems. So Wilmington down to 28, Springboro 28, 27, Oxford, Brookville, same story in Versailles, south of the Ohio River and south of east of Cincinnati. Temperatures are still pretty close to the freezing mark. So we've got this big cold storm system that's kind of scooting its way through the Ohio Valley. What's happening tonight? It's basically jumping over the Appalachians and transferring its energy to what's going to be a mega East Coast storm. This is going to be a historic storm, one that's going to go down in the record books, especially for places from Philadelphia to New York City to Boston. Here's something to think about. It's already beginning to snow tonight very heavily in DC and Philadelphia. It will still be snowing this time tomorrow night and to think that they could have snowfall rates two, three, maybe even four inches per hour. It's going to be an amazing storm for them. We really did dodge a bullet this go around. So tomorrow morning we'll have cloudy skies as we go through the day. We'll begin to see a little bit of sun as I think the cloud cover will begin to thin out during the afternoon and we'll keep partly cloudy skies. I do suspect that tomorrow afternoon and evening we could have a round of flurries or snow showers come through the area. We'll keep a close eye on that, but any in terms of any real additional accumulation, I really don't see that happening, but we could see some flurries and snow showers for the evening tomorrow once again. So tonight 25 for an overnight low as the light snow has ended and those cold north winds will begin to pick up overnight tonight. It will be a blustery day tomorrow. Temperatures will struggle to climb towards the freezing mark. Uh, again, a few flurries or snow showers. Look at those northwest winds at 15 to 25. Here's your day planner starting out at 25 at 8 a.m. 30 by lunchtime and we'll kind of creep our way towards the freezing mark by afternoon. Through Thursday, we stay in the deep freeze around here. So even though we don't have a lot of snow on the ground, we've got some hard freezes coming up the next couple of nights down to 15 tomorrow night, 16 on Wednesday night. And then by Friday, St. Patrick's Day, we start to thaw out. We'll climb back into the 50s. But by then on Friday, we may have a round of rain to deal with. I know a lot of folks making plans for Friday and the upcoming weekend. Doesn't look like a lot of rain on Friday, but there could be a little bit of wet weather. All right, Kevin, thank you. Three local teams in March.